Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 173. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Nitrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following is true regarding cyclones? The correct answer is that they rotate counterclockwise in northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. So for cyclones, uh, there is pressure condition. At the center, there is low patterns of wind direction. In northern hemisphere, it is counterclockwise or anti-clockwise pattern of wind direction. Whereas in southern hemisphere, it is clockwise pattern of wind direction. There are also entities known as anti-cyclones, where the pressure condition at the center is high and pattern of wind direction in northern hemisphere is clockwise, whereas in southern hemisphere, it's anti-clockwise. Paleoclimatology is the study of what? Paleo is a word used for ancient. So the correct answer is ancient climates. Paleoclimatology is the study of past climates. Since it is not possible to go back in time to see what climates were like, scientists use imprints created during past climate, known as proxies, to interpret paleoclimate. Organisms such as diatoms, forearms and corals serve as useful climate proxies. Which of the following sentences define air mass correctly? The correct answer is that they are large volumes of air defined by temperature and water vapor content. So in meteorology, an air mass is a volume of air defined by its temperature and water vapor content. Air masses cover many hundreds or thousands of miles and adapt to the characteristics of the surface below them. They are classified according to latitude and their continental or maritime source regions. What fraction of Earth's total content or Earth's total water content is in the form of oceans? The correct answer is 97%. So of the total volume of water on Earth, which is about 1.386 billion kilometer cube, with 97.5% is uh, salt water and 2.5% is fresh water. Of the fresh water, only 0.3% is in liquid form of the surface. Rest are frozen in glaciers and otherwise. So this is why it's so important that we conserve fresh water because we might think that most of Earth is water. However, consumable fresh water is very little in quantity. In which of the following situation lunar eclipse occurs? Correct answer is when Earth is between the Sun and the Moon. So basically what happens is Earth comes in between Sun and the Moon and hence sunlight doesn't reach the Moon and Earth's shadow falls on the Moon. As a result, we can't see the Moon which is a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse can occur only on the night of a full Moon. A low pressure area in the atmosphere in which wind spiral inwards is known as cyclone. So in meteorology, a cyclone is a large scale air mass that rotates around a strong center of low atmospheric pressure. Cyclones are characterized by inward spiraling winds that rotate about a zone of low pressure. If you see the diagram, that center you can see and there's a spiral that you can see that's going towards the center. That's a cyclone. A huge mass of ice fed by snow on a high mountain slowly sliding downhill before it starts melting is what? Correct answer is glacier. A glacier is a large perennial accumulation of crystalline ice. Perennial as in it exists throughout the year. So it is made of crystalline ice, snow, rock, sediment and often liquid water that originates on land and moves down slope under the influence of its own weight and gravity. Which among the following country derives its name from a latitude? Correct answer is Ecuador. Ecuador is Spanish for equator. Equator being the latitude that divides the earth into half. Eskimos live in which of the following climates? The correct answer is the tundra climate. Eskimos or Inuit people have lived in the Arctic region. The tundra where the climate is cold and too severe for trees to grow for over a thousand years. They have in fact adapted biologically to their environment via adaptation to foods. In geography of horizon, P horizon, A horizon are layers of which of the following? 
correct answer being soils. If we dig a bit of land and look at the soil, we find that it consists of three layers which are called horizons. If you see the diagram, you can see the strict division between the different layers. So these are the horizons. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.